CRE lesson videos. And my name is Chris Lele, and I will be taking you through these introduction lessons as well as the verbal lessons. Our math guide, Brent, he will, of course, be doing the math videos. So this is a great place to start, though, is basically who takes the GRE? Because we want to make sure that if you're sitting here right now watching this, that you're actually going to take the GRE. So first off, how do we answer this? Well, if you're going to grad school and or, and or your PhD candidate, then you need to take the GRE. However, here's the important part. If you are looking to go to medical school, law school, either of those, you want to take the MCAT and the LSAT, respectively. You do not want to take the GRE. However, if you are going to business school, the GRE is now accepted by many, many programs. My guess is you've already figured this out, but just to be sure that you are taking the right test, let's get that out of the way. Now, what is on the GRE, now that we know who has to take it? Well, the GRE is made up of math, verbal, and writing. And before you clicked on this video, you may have actually looked at all of the lessons and you may have seen that we've broken them up into math, verbal, and writing. And just a second ago, I said, oh, I am the verbal guy and Brent's the math guy. But I should also mention that I am the writing guy. So all of these three components of the GRE, of course, are covered in our lesson videos. And you may very well know these three components. Now, next big question, maybe biggest question. What does the GRE test? Now, one thing it tests is your ability to reason through problems using logic, using critical thinking skills. It also tests your accumulated knowledge. And by that, I mean vocabulary, for instance. Anything that you've taken years to learn, you didn't just learn it yesterday, last week, last month, but you've known for a very long time. This can also apply to math triangle properties, etc., or even to essay writing. Again, I'm guessing you didn't learn to write an essay a few months ago. But now, here's the bigger thing, the much bigger thing, and that is the GRE tests your ability to take the GRE. And so everything I talked on the last slide, you were probably nodding your head, saying, yeah, I know this, this is intro, this is basic stuff. But bam, this may be news to you. The GRE is not an IQ test. It is not this test of this unvarying intelligence that you have, that no matter what you do, you will get a certain number that will never change. A lot of people think that, but the GRE tests your ability to simply take the GRE. It is not an inherent measure of intelligence. That's very important to understand because you may get frustrated at the beginning. You may th think, oh, wow, here I am. I, I always knew I sucked at vocab and now I'm sucking at vocab. Well, oh, that's just me. You must not think that way. Again, the GRE is a test. And like any test, like any game, it has its own rules, its own way of doing something. And you can, once you understand those rules, become better at taking the GRE. So the test is learnable. And that's what we're going to do. Or that's what you're going to do here with the Mugush product as you go through the videos. Now, probably ask you, well, how to learn the GRE? What do I specifically do? Well, the thing about the GRE is there are many techniques, there are many strategies, some of which are better than others. Brent, math guy, and I try to share as many of the effective GRE strategies as we can think of. Now, there are also other publishers out there. You can glean your strategies from them but you wanna make sure that you're using the best strategies, the best tactics to do well on the GRE. So that's sort of number one, learning the best approach. Next, not just strategies and tactics, but there's accurate prep material. So there are publishers out there, I don't necessarily need to name them, but their questions aren't necessarily that great. And by that great, they don't obey the same rules as the GRE. So it's perhaps your learning a, a new game and all of a sudden the rules suddenly change a little bit and your brain changes it learns to adapt to this prep material because this prep material doesn't accurately reflect the GRE and so therefore you want to make sure you have accurate prep material to get you ready for test day now once those two things are accomplished it really comes down to you you're going to need practice of course just with anything like any game and 
any new thing that you're learning. And of course, you're going to need focus because it's going to be very easy to lose that focus over time. You may become a very spotty GRE studier. And despite all these things, that this is a very learnable test and you can learn the best approach, if you simply don't practice and focus over time, then you're not necessarily going to realize the scores that you are capable of achieving. So this is an introduction video, as I said, and the next series of videos are also introductory videos. Now, you do not have to go through each one sequentially, meaning if you don't watch something, you're definitely not going to be able to watch the next video. No, not at all. In fact, I encourage you even to go to the text completion videos or the math vid videos, go to the videos on integers. But if you want to kind of sit back and learn a little bit about the GRE, and this is especially for those who are fresh to the GRE, then definitely watch these GRE intro videos. And as I said, I'll be narrating the rest of those and look forward to seeing you there.